Iranian officials are reacting with skepticism to President Trump's comments. He is willing to meet with Iranian officials. The offer comes after a war of words between the two countries. RT's Dan Cohen has the latest. Throughout his presidency, Donald Trump has consistently shown aggression towards Iran. In May, Trump unilaterally and illegally withdrew the United States from the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, commonly known as the Iran nuclear deal, and levied crippling sanctions on the Islamic Republic. His administration has openly supported the Mujahideen al khulq or MEK, an Iranian opposition cult that was listed as a terrorist organization by the U.S. itself until 2012. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo addressed members of the MEK at a conference in California on July 22nd. So it's not surprising that Iranian officials are reacting with skepticism to President Trump's offer to meet with President Hassan Rouhani. On Monday, Trump told reporters that he would meet with Rouhani without preconditions. So I believe in meeting. I would certainly meet with Iran if they wanted to meet. I don't know that they're ready yet. They're having a hard time right now. But I ended the Iran deal. It was a ridiculous deal. I do believe that they will probably end up wanting to meet. And I'm ready to meet anytime they want to. And I don't do that from strength or from weakness. I think it's an appropriate thing to do. A top Iranian member of parliament dismissed the possibility of negotiating, saying, quote, the Americans violated an international undertaking by withdrawal from the nuclear deal, and they are using this trick to pretend that they want talks, but Iran will not accept. Hamid Abu Talebi, an advisor to President Rouhani, wrote on Twitter, respecting the Iranian nation's rights, reducing hostilities, and returning to the nuclear deal are steps that can be taken to pave the bumpy road of talks between Iran and America. This comes after a war of words between Trump and Iranian officials. On July 22nd, Trump took to Twitter to threaten President Rouhani, writing, Never ever threaten the United States again, or you will suffer consequences the likes of which few throughout history have ever suffered before. We are no longer a country that will stand for your demented words of violence and death. Be cautious. President Rouhani dismissed the threats as empty and baseless. However, head of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, Qasem Soleimani, responded in kind. Hereby. I tell you of this gambling, Mr. Donald Trump. Be aware that we have connections to you which you cannot even imagine. You shouldn't insult the Iranian nation. You shouldn't insult our president. You must exercise caution in these matters. Go, ask your predecessors and learn from their experience. With U.S. imposed sanctions set to take effect next Monday and Iranian currency in freefall, President Trump's brand of diplomacy may be too little, too late. Reporting in Washington, Dan Cohen, RT. For more on this, let's bring in Dan Kovalik, professor of international human rights at the University of Pittsburgh. Dan is author of The Plot to Attack Iran. Professor, do you think Trump's approach to the Iranians is too little, too late? Well, <clears throat> I think it is, and I think by by design, I mean, I, I fear that the Trump administration wants some type of military uh, uh, confrontation with Iran and is working towards that goal, which is of great concern. Iran is a huge country of 80 million people. A war with Iran would be devastating, as Colonel Lawrence Wilkerson said. Uh, it would be 10 to 15 times worse in terms of deaths and, and uh, lost treasure than even the Iraq war. Why would President Trump want this war? Is it wag the dog? Well, you might be referring to Israel, which certainly wants the war. But the U.S. really has been pretty consistently uh, aggressive towards Iran since they overthrew the U.S.-backed dictator, the Shah, in 1979. The U.S. has never forgiven them from do, uh, for doing that. And the U.S. has been finding ways to undermine Iran since then by supporting the MEK terrorists that you just mentioned, by supporting Saddam Hussein in his brutal war against Iran between 1980 and 1988. So in many ways, Trump, uh, his, his aggressive position against Iran is not new, but it may be more resolute. And uh, that, that uh, frightens me quite a bit. If Iran does pursue nuclear weapons, what real option does the USA have other than war? 
Well, first of all, the U.S. has, what, 6,000 some nuclear warheads. So, um, for starters, I don't think Iran will be a threat. But let's look at the facts. Our own intelligence agencies years ago uh, concluded that Iran was not then and is not now seeking nuclear weapons. In fact, uh, the current Ayatollah Khomeini uh, issued a fatwa against the production, stockpiling, and use of nuclear weapons. So I think that that whole issue is a red herring. No one uh, disputes, not even Trump, that, that Iran was uh, complying with the nuclear deal, because it was. No one doubts that. The fact is uh, that Trump just wants more uh, than merely refraining from, from creating nuclear weapons. But again, there's no evidence uh, that Iran uh, wants to do that. We've been talking nukes, but what about a ground war? Do you think the United States would dare invade uh, Iran? Would it be another Iraq, another Syria, another Vietnam? Again, I, I, I honestly think uh, to attack Iran, it's the 17th largest country in the world, of 80 million people with a very disciplined, very large uh, army in the Republican Guard, I think that um, it would be a disastrous war. I, I don't think the U.S. would try that. If it did, I think you would see massive casualties on the U.S. side. And again, uh, hundreds of thousands, if not in the millions of deaths on, on the Iranian side. It would just it is not something anyone should relish. And by the way, I want to note that right after 9-11, Iran helped the U.S. In the, in the fight against terror, in the fight against the Taliban. Hey, YouTube. Thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.